the doctors. It's you that needs your head test in tie, not her. I've told you the score. I'm as much to blame for this Just as she is. Just because you keep saying it, that doesn't make it true. Just keep it quiet, will you? It's got this toy, like, Pam bought it in. It's basically like this ball with, like, a ferret attached to it. Not a real one. Obviously not a real one, no. But it like, goes on the floor in all these mad directions. He's absolutely terrified of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the second I switch on, he's, like, he's screaming, trying to get out of the room and all sorts. <laughs> hey, you should film that for on YouTube. Hey? Well, film it on your phone, then just upload it. Well, why? Because it'd be funny. Everything all right? You two sneaking around behind my back? No. Well, you know, working here. Got to be careful, eh? Hey, knocking off. So what you want? Nothing. It's just small talk. All right. We'll have to take your word for that, then, will I? Hormones. Is that it? Oh, so you're a doctor now. Did you tell me the full story, eh? The details? When the baby arrives, it'll go away. So says Dr Carter, and so says me. So we just need to sit back and wait till she belts you again, then, yeah? But she won't. These people aren't in the real world, Ty. That's the problem with these doctors. Fifteen years at college and they get a nice little cushy job at the end of it. Chicken pox and a sprained ankle is your man. When it comes to a woman knocking lumps out of a boyfriend... You keep your voice down. She's not knocking lumps out of it. She's pregnant and she loses her temper. That's it. Hi, Tina. Hi. Have you seen Eileen? I'm supposed to meet her at two. Well, Mum, she'll be back at work by now. No, she's got a day off. Deirdre, love, she said, um, can you go around ours? She's doing a load of ironing or something. Oh, right Hi, hey, how's Kirsty? What? Well, I just wondered if she was OK. She was in the medical centre earlier. Should you be asking that? What did he say? Who? Dr Carr. Thought everything was confidential over there. Well, it is. Ah, OK. Maybe it's none of my business, but she cancelled her appointment just before she was due to go in. She did what? I just wondered if she was OK. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, it's right. You should definitely put it on the internet. Oh, I've got to go. Why? Call an HR on comforts required. Well, so you just leave me with these two? Oh! Well, I might as well throw one down me. Uh, large red wine, please, when you've a minute, love. Sympathetic pregnancy symptoms. You are. Yeah, I like mood swings and that. He's been all over the place recently. He's nervous. His baby's due in a day. Oh, hello. <laughs> Someone sounds a bit broody. You don't know what it's like. Kids change your life. Yeah, well, I could have guessed that. Ah, you might think you're prepared for it, but trust me, you have no idea. So tell me. I don't know. Just makes sense of everything, gives you a focus, you know, something so special, so precious. You ask anyone. And I bet they tell you that having kids was the best thing they ever did. Hey, Tina. Business with a doctor. All sorted. What did she say? Why didn't she go and why did she lie about it? We talked it through and it's all okay. I really think we're making progress. You no, know, you can talk to me any time, Ty. I know. Thank you. Ah, hello again. How is she? She's fine, Ty. Who's fine? Uh, Kirsty, she had a bit of a fall in It was an accident, she's fine. Yeah, even so, I'm surprised to see you in here. It was her idea. She's having to lie down. Yeah, but, I mean, if I was eight months pregnant... I popped out for an hour, that's all. No dramas. It's what we do. We're normal. Yeah, OK, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have had a go at you like that. You're right. I shouldn't be here. I'm going. Something all right, that. Are you being serious? Why not? But, why not? There's a, m a million reasons why not. See, you change our lives. So you want a baby? Well, you'd actually have to have the baby. Oh, okay, so I do all the hard work. <laughs> What's your contribution? Be the dad. Look, Kevin said it was the best thing he ever did. Well, I am I'm very pleased for Kevin. <laughs> I don't know, look, there's, there's loads of things I want to do first. Okay. Ask me again in five years. No. Seven. All right, no. well, I get the message. Look, you'll be the first to know when my biological clock starts ticking, OK? <laughs> hey, you do Mr. Treat tonight? Really? Yes, my hugely talented son played at Nelson's. Oh. I know I'm biased, but honestly, when he started, 
that was all like noise, you know, talking, drinking, all that. By the time he finished, you could hear a pin drop. Oh. Oh, so they didn't like it then? Uh, loudest applause of the night, thank you, Tommy. Did I introduce my agent? But yeah, and he got offered to join three different bands as well. I am telling you, I saw something special tonight. Oh, well done. Um, bottle lager, a white wine, and whatever you two are having, please. Cheers. Put, put that away, I'll get these. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and he got paid 25 quid. That's all right, isn't it? Mm. Um, have you seen Lloyd at all? Uh, yeah, he's out the back. I'll get you drinks. Gonna 